What's up YouTube? I hope you guys are doing well. I'm just about to go out and shoot. I'm packing up my stuff. I think I'm just missing a couple of things. Oh, here's one. Where's the oh good to go. So today guys I'm gonna show you how to grab an item with the Spider-Man web effect. Make sure to like and subscribe down below. So how did I come up with this idea? I saw this effect being done in a vlog by Andreas Hem, another amazing creative genius based in Norway. In his Dubai vlog, he pretends to have created a new web shooter that lets him grab things like how Spider-Man would. I've seen the camera grab effect done before, but I haven't found anything similar to this one with Final Cut Pro. Things you will need to shoot this. A tripod, camera, and an item that you will grab with your web. Let's start with shooting your clips first. It is important to keep your camera on the tripod at the same spot the whole time. Do not move it. This effect will also work better if you have a wide lens. If you don't, just make sure to place your camera further back to capture more of your surrounding. Also, try to find a setting where there aren't any movement in the background. Once you have your tripod set and recording, shoot your surroundings without any items placed yet. Shoot it for about 10 to 15 seconds. Then, place the item that you want to grab with your web in the frame. Place it away from you so that your movements won't overlap with the item. Also, place your backpack in the middle or close to where you will be standing. For this next step, it might be easier if you have another person assisting you. Press record, then stand in front of your bag. Start the web shooting motion towards your item. The faster you are with the web shooting movement, the easier it will be to edit. Next. Have your assistant pass you the item as you stay in the exact same spot. Now do the same motion again, but this time hold the item in your hand as you do it. And finish the movement by placing the item in the bag afterwards. Filming is done. Now let's hop on to Final Cut Pro. Highlight the part where the scene is empty. Then drag that onto your timeline. This will be your base footage. Now drag the part where you start to reach for the first item and drag that on top of the first clip. Press B on your keyboard to bring up the blade tool. Look for the part on the top clip where you start to pull back your arm. Cut the clip at that spot. Now search for the draw mask tool in the effects tab. And drag that on top of the last clip. Now place the points around the first item without overlapping. Head over to the inspector tab and click on invert mask. Now look for the clip where you have the item in your hand doing the exact same motion. Drag that beside the last clip on top. Resize the last two clips so that they are both at the same point in the clip, making it look like it was shot continuously. It's okay if it's slightly off. Change the speed of the middle top clip to about two times the speed. Play around with this number until it looks smooth. Now let's create the moving effect of the item. Copy the very first clip on the top by pressing Command and C at the same time. Then paste it on top of it by pressing Command and V at the same time. Look for the draw mask tool again in the effects tab and drag it on top of that clip. Zoom in as close as you can and place the key points around the item. The more precise you are, the cleaner it will look. Now back in the effects tab, search for a directional and then drag that on top of that clip as well. Raise the amount of that so that it is maxed out. Drag the entire top clip and place it above the middle clip. Press the transform tab and move the item so that it is slightly closer to your hand. Then add a keyframe. Press the right arrow key on your keyboard to move to the next frame. And then adjust the distance of the item again, so that it is getting even closer. Continue to do this until you get to the point where you are holding the item. Then press B again on your keyboard and blade off and delete the remaining part of that clip, which you won't be needing anymore. Now you need to add the web to finish off the effect. I'll be using the web that Ryan Nangle provided in his Spider-Man camera grab effect. I'll link to his video and download link below. Once you have that downloaded, drag it to the very top. Change the blend mode to add. Move it over to the part where you start to reach for the item. Click on the transform tab and resize it so that it properly fits the proportions of your video. Adjust the placement of the web on the screen as well, so that it is aligned with your hand. Make sure the timing is on point as well. Once you have all that lined up, press the keyframe button at the top. 
Then press the right arrow key to go to the next frame. Adjust the size and placement of the web as you move frame by frame. You will need to make it smaller and shorter as you get closer to your hand. Delete the remaining half once you are aligned with the clip below it. Now add sound effects that was included in Ryan Nangle's download folder. Also, use my speed ramping effect to speed up certain parts of the shots if needed. The tutorial for that is in the description below. And remember, if you want to do this for more than one item, all you have to do is repeat the process for each additional item you grab afterwards.